Hello, Carlos. Hello, Cristina. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight, guys? A little, a little tired, teacher, but okay. I'm so sorry to hear that, Carlos. You are going to breathe in an hour, so yes, be patient. Hello, Jennifer. Welcome to the class. Samuel, Isaac, Ingrid, Vanessa. Welcome, Cristina. Hello. Thank you. How are you today, Jennifer? I'm okay. I'm a little bit tired, but okay. And you, teacher? I'm excellent. Thanks for asking me. What about you, Samuel? How are you? Very good. That sounds great. Ingrid Vanessa, hello. How are you tonight? Okay, so welcome to the second week of classes. Yeah, everything is okay. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. Thank you so much. So during this week, we need to complete the section number three, and also we need to take the midterm exam. I don't know if you have already started working on the section number three. Teacher. Yes. Yo avancé en la en la en la sección 1 y 2 y quise avanzar en la en el midterm y en las siguientes, pero me aparecía desactivadas. No sé si era la plataforma en ese momento o o así están ahora configuradas. Desactivada la el midterm. Ajá. Es decir, para hacer como los ejercicios y enviarlos, me aparecía el botón de enviar desactivado. A ver, déjame revisar. Give me a second, I'm going to check it. Eso fue el viernes que me aparecía así. No sé si fue quizá en ese momento la plataforma. O no sé, pero me aparecía así. Igual mañana voy a trabajar en ella para avanzar. Y después de llenar los campos, le aparecía... Voy a llenarlo así al azar. O sea, no me aparecía activado para avanzar ni para enviar mis respuestas. Ok, ya se sé con. Mm, ya está activado, ya se puede ver. Ah, ok. Ok, let's try again. If you can, eh, intente el día de hoy, ¿verdad? Solo marque el azar para ver si se le marca el, el botón de enviar. De send. Ok. Okay, so let's start with tonight's class, guys. I'm going to share with you my screen. And today we're going to start this section. So here we go. What's your neighborhood like? What is That is the topic for tonight. And that is the topic of the section number three. What's your neighborhood like? Como es su vecindario? Como es el lugar donde viven? Can you use an I an adjective to describe your neighborhood? Tell me, what's your neighborhood like? Oh, first question, do you like your neighborhood? ¿Les gusta su vecindario, el lugar donde viven? Do you like it? Do you like your neighborhood? What places can we find in your neighborhood? ¿Qué lugares podemos encontrar? In my neighborhood, in, in my neighborhood, I have near to me one supermarket. So that is fine. Cool. You have a supermarket near to your house, near to your neighborhood. Is it a bakery in your neighborhood? Hay una panadería en su vecindario. Yes, in my neighborhood. Um, four. There are four. There are four bakeries. 
So what about a drugstore? There is a drugstore near to your neighborhood. For yes, there I have near to me one drugstore. Okay, that's perfect. What about a gas station? Is there a gas station near to your neighborhood? Yes. Okay, that's great. And what about a restaurant? Are there any restaurants near to your neighborhood? Yes, in my neighborhood, there are many restaurants. There are many restaurants. Okay, that sounds very interesting. There are, there are um, some bakeries, supermarkets, and banks. And there are too much uh, malls. Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. great. You have yeah. a lot of facilities that are near to your neighborhood. Yeah. So let's start with this topic. What's your neighborhood like? And tonight we're going to start with this. So here we go. This is the lesson objective for tonight. In this session, participants will learn about how to ask an answer question with this is. And there are, sorry, with there is, there are one, any, and some. So let's start with this. We are going to start with this. I'm pretty sure that you can uh, you can make lines, right? Within a certain linea on my screen. Can you try it? Okay, Jennifer, I can see your line there. Thank you so much. You can, can you? Right, right. Try to make line on my screen. Oh, well, thank you, Carlos. So you can see there. I have here this vocabulary. I have cafe, pharmacy, library, bank, school, movie theater, toy store, city, supermarket, court, museum, gas station, hotel, bakery, airport, gym, factory, stadium, and park. So can you find, um, how many can you find in this uh, word, in this word series? Hotel teacher. Okay, I have gas station there. Hotel, okay, let's see, what is it? Uh, okay, thank you so much. So we have gas station, we have hotel. Okay, in one minute, how many can you find there? The stadium, yes, thank you so much. There is the word stadium there. Bakery. Bakery, the what is bakery? Let's see, bakery, bakery, bakery. The gym, um, after, how do you say antes? After or before? Uh, after, uh, after, after the stress, the before the it's hotel? antes. At school. After. A school, school, bakery, hotel. What other one can you find there? Movie theater is in the second line. Yes, there, there, there. Ah, okay, thank you. Movie theater. Okay, excellent. Movie theater. City. City. Okay, is that? Museum, teacher. Museum. Baba, baba. Museum, court, okay, agree, excellent, court. You can find court there. Any other, any other? Okay, uh, okay. hotel. Uh, okay, I'm going to share this presentation with you, right? So you can have to find finding this vocabulary in this uh, cross in this word search word search that is the name so we have cafe pharmacy library bank school movie theater a toy store city supermarket court museum gas station hotel bakery airport in factory stadium and park 
there is a place that you don't know what is the meaning in Spanish. This one. Park, park is in the yards, lines, regarding certain sequences. Uh, can you please repeat, please, of me? The park is in the third line uh, in vertical, no sé cómo se vertical. Okay, let's see. Third one, one, two, three, park. Vertical, vertical. Park, 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 park. Tercera en vertical. Ahí, para abajo. Ah, okay, excellent. We have the park. Okay, excellent job. Thank you so much. So, which one of these places are there near to your neighborhood? ¿Cuáles de estos lugares es común que encontremos en nuestro vecindario? Which one? Gym, my park, gym, park, pharmacy. Yes. Any other? Hotel. Okay. Hotel. School, school, Gym, park, 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 supermarket, supermarket to teacher. What is bike bakery? Bakery, panadería. panadería. Thank you. Ah, panadería. Teacher, I have a question. Tell uh, me what is your question? What is the difference like the pharmacy to doctor? I guess it's the same, right? It's the same. It's a place when you can buy medicine. Yeah, it's the same, pharmacy and drugstore. Okay, thank you. Carlos, what is your question? No, teacher, in my neighborhood, we have airport in Lopango. Ah, okay, the airport. Hey. In my neighborhood, there are there is a Walmart and a gas station. Okay, yeah. so you have, you have there a mall, right? Oh, Walmart is a supermarket, isn't it? It's a supermarket, right? Yes. Oh, oh. Teacher, what is sure. called? What is, Court, uh, what is... is... What is court? Court, la corte, yes. Mm, la corte. Okay. What is factory, teacher? Which one? What is factory? Da, 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 da. Which one? Factory. Oh, factory yes. is fabrica. Fabrica. That is the meaning of factory. Okay, thank you so much for you. You found a lot of words there. So I'm going to share this with you and you can find the other words in this. So let's continue. Yes, let me raise your lines over there. Okay, and now we can continue. So let's go with this conversation. I'm your new neighbor. I'm your new neighbor. ¿Se han mudado alguna vez o ahí nacieron donde viven ahora? Me he mudado. Yes. Ok. ¿Cómo se siente ser un nuevo vecino? Se siente, bueno, estaba pequeño en ese entonces, pero se siente raro dejar a sus amiguitos. Tenía 10 años cuando me mudé para acá, para San Salvador. Ah, ok. Yes. Eh, to move to another place is a little bit difficult, right? So you have to leave your... Maybe your relatives, your friends, your schools, the places that you enjoy being in. Then it's a little bit difficult, right? But um, you can find a lot of interesting things in a new neighborhood, right? For example, new friends, uh, good people, uh, better places. So it's pretty cool too, right? To move is pretty cool. So let's take a look at this guy. I'm your new neighbor. Yo soy su nuevo vecino. And he is looking for a place. He's looking for a place. He's asking for help. He's asking for help with this old woman. 
So let's listen to this conversation, please. And then we're going to practice. So try to pay attention to the pronunciation, please, because we're going to practice this short conversation. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center, too. A barber shop? Okay, which places is this guy looking for? The laundry? The, okay, the landroma. The landroma and which other place? He wants to buy food, right? So he's looking for a shopping center. Shopping center? Maybe, but grocery store. A grocery store. Barber shop. In a barber shop? Okay, he's looking for the two first places, laundromat and grocery store. Now the old woman suggests him a barber shop. Why? Why do you think? By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. ¿Por qué le dirá eso la señora? Because he has have the a longer. Oh yes, that's the reason. Because he has long hair, right? So excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes, I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Pay attention to this question. Are there any around here? And yes, there are some on Pine Street. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a laundromat near here? It's another question. Is there? Is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Across from, do you remember about this preposition of play? What is the meaning of across from? Enfrente de. Excellent. Enfrente de. That's the meaning. Uh, thank you. And say, by the way, what's the meaning of that phrase? By the way. A propósito o por cierto. Excellent. Thank you so much for the translation. There is a barber shop in the shopping center too. And he is surprised. A barber shop? Okay, so two volunteers in this part who went to practice in small conversation. Volunteer. Me teacher, Christian Monge. Thank you, Christian. Any other volunteer? Me teacher. Thank you, Carlos. So I have Christian and Carlos. Carlos, you are Jack, so you are Mrs. Day, Cristia. Let's start. Excuse me, I'm your neighbor. I'm your no neighbor. Jack, I just moved in. Oh, yes? I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any room here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there a um, laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there's a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Excellent job, Christian Carlos. So the word there is and there are, what is the meaning of those phrases? There is. There are any idea? There is and there are. There is, is I para singular and there are I para plural. Okay, perfect. So let's have a review of these two phrases. There is and there are. And also we are going to see these one, any, and some. So is there is the question, right? Is there a laundromat near here? We are asking just for one place. Is there a laundromat? Just one. 
Then the answer is say, yes, there is. Or no, there is, and is the other option. Is there a supermarket near to your neighborhood? Then you say, yes, there is. No, there isn't. Now you have to to give more information, say, yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. So we use across from, right? A preposition of place to help right? the other people to find this place. So, no, there isn't, but there's one next to the library. No, no hay uno cerca. Hay uno a la par de la biblioteca. But there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery store around here? So this is for plural, as Christian said. Are there any grocery stores? Plural. ¿Hay alguna tienda de alimentos aquí? O al, en estos alrededores, cerca de acá, around here. Then you say, yes, there are. There are some, some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Do you have any question about who there is and there are? Teacher. Yes? Sorry for my question. Uh, yes. I have problem with the reading teacher. Uh, the world in one neighborhood. Sé que no tiene nada que ver con el tema que estamos tratando, pero traté de responder la mayor parte de preguntas con lo que tiene el reading. Pero ni una de esas me dio que eran correctas. Y según ah. entendí, en la historia se pueden hacer seis cosas. Y traté de poner todas las que me salían ahí en el reading, pero ninguna de esas me resultó. Perdón, sé que no tiene nada que ver con el tema, pero. Ok. Solo is, the, is, is the reading of the section number three? Number two, teacher. Ok. Okay, so we are going to take a look at that at the end of the class. Do you agree? Can, can we see that at the end of the class? We're going to check that, okay? Okay, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. Thank you so much for your question. We are going to have a review of that uh, at the end of the class. Now let's continue with this, right? Then we use one, right? When we are asking is there, there is, there is one, or there is the contraction, there is one, but there is one next to the library. Some, we use some in plural, right? Para decir algunos. Yes, there are, there are some nice store on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. Then we say, no, there aren't any around here. So any is for a negative sentence, for a negative answer, no, there aren't any. No, no hay ninguno por aquí cerca. No, there aren't any around here. Let me ask a question. Is there a soccer field near to your neighborhood? Is there a soccer field there? Yes, there is one here in my neighborhood. Okay, thank you so much. Are there any churches around there? Are there any churches around your neighborhood? Hay algunas iglesias en los alrededores de su vecindario? Yes, they are. Yes, there are. There are. Okay, you see, yes, there are. There are some churches, right? And you say, where are they? So let's remember this preposition on, next to, near, close to, Across from, opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, and on the corner of. Do you remember on? What we are going to use on? On, on. Okay. Okay, it means end. Right? Let's see if I say the movie theater is on Main Street. Está justo después de la acera. It's on Main Street. Está en esa calle. Next to. What is the meaning of next to? Do you remember next to? Tell me to remember next to. Después de. Después de. 
A la par. A la par. Ok, yes, next to me. A la par de near or close to. Cerca de. Cerca de, perfect. Across from and opposite. Across Como from. Como opuesta o cruzando. Mm. Es en cuando enfrente de, en de verdad, pero hay una calle en medio. Hay una calle en medio de esos dos lugares. Dice across from or opposite. En in front of, que está justo enfrente. Justo enfrente. In back of o behind. It means. Atrás. Atrás de. Perfect. Then we have between. Entre. Entre, entre en medio de. And finally, on the corner of. En la esquina. Okay, en la esquina de. Let's listen these examples. We are going to listen them. There is, there are. One, any, some. Is there a laundromat near here? Yes, there is. There's one across from the shopping center. No, there isn't but there's one next to the library. Are there any grocery stores around here? Yes, there are. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. No, there aren't, but there are some on Third Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. Prepositions. On. Next to. Near. Close to. Across from. Opposite, in front of, in back of, behind, between, on the corner of. If you want. Do you have any question in this part? If you don't have any question, let's go with the names here. There. Okay, so it's there. It's there uh, near here. Then the answer is yes, there is, or no, there isn't. If you say yes, you say yes, there is. Then you say where we can find the place. Yes, there is. There is one next to the gas station. Yes, there is. And then you add there is one next to the gas station. Then I have this map. But which places can you identify in this map? Can you help me to name them? Which places can you find in this picture? Public library. That is one, thank you. The bank. The bank, thank you. There is a gas bank. Station. There is a gas station. Shopping center. There is a shopping center. Any other place? Some grocery stores. There are how many grocery stores? There are there two electronic stores. There are two grocery stores. There is an electronic store. The post office. Okay, the post office. We can find there the other post office. Plaza Hotel. Excellent. So there is Kim Plaza, Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Thank you. Is there a restaurant in this uh, neighborhood? Is there a restaurant? In Plaza's yes. restaurant. Yes, there is. Yes, there, is. The hotel. there is one in front of. Hotel. Okay, is it in front of or across from? In this case, it's across from, right? Across from King Plaza Hotel. So tell me, is there a clinic in this neighborhood? Is there a clinic? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. What is it? Clinic, clinic. 
Where is the cleaning? Can you help me to find the cleaning? Um, no, where are you? No, no, no. Maybe Parker's room. Uh, there is Parker's Between, between mom, my poop grocery and tube shoes. Okay, yeah, there is a drugstore. Okay, cool. That could be a clinic too, right? Pero no hay ningún edificio que haya clinic. Esa es la respuesta sería, no, there yeah. isn't any. No, there isn't any clinic. Okay, is there an airport in this neighborhood? Air, airport. Yes, airport. Is there an airport Ooh. in this neighborhood? No, there is. No, there is. No, there is. Yeah. No, there no, is there an is. any, right? Yeah. Okay. Are there any gas station? Are there any gas station near yes, here? Yes, there is. Yes, yes, there, there is. is. It's behind. Ah, okay, yes, there are, it is one. Okay, so now using the preposition of place, can you tell me where is Joe's gym? Where is Joe's gym? Joe's gym is between post office and Oday's department store. Excellent, thank you. So you say, is there a gym in this neighborhood? Then you say, yes, there is one between or the department store and the post office. Thank you so much. So let's see, is there a shopping center? The shopping center. Yes, there is one. Is, is, yes, there is one. First He's Avenue. just behind the gas station. Excellent answer, Christina. So you say, yes, there is one. It behind the gas station, or oh, there is one behind the gas station. Very good. Uh, is there a park in this neighborhood? Yes, there is. There is one in the middle of the neighborhood. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. And let's see. There is a pay telephone. Is there a pay telephone in this neighborhood? Yes, the reason is one in corner on First Avenue and Main Street. Perfect answer, thank you. Uh, let's see, are there any hotel in this neighborhood? Yes, there is. Then you say, yes, there are yes, two. There are on yeah, the yeah. corner Elm Street and Maple Avenue. Okay. One. And then and the other is next to Frank's Coffee. Coffee. Cafe. Perfect. Perfect answer. Then you say, are there any hotels in this neighborhood? You say, yes, there are two. One is on the corner of Pine Street and Maple Avenue. And the other one is next to France Cafe. Excellent answer, thank you so much. Is there a bank? Is there a bank in this neighborhood? Yes, there is one. Yes, there is one. Yes, there is one. There's one behind two hotels, the Plaza Hotel. Okay, thank you, so there is one. Uh, cross front or opposite or in, even we can use in front next of to, front. or oh. next to next to Prince grocery, grocery store. store okay next to Prince grocery store grocery store thank you so much so don't forget about this map and we are going to go to the platform and we are going to solve this exercise so have you already solved this one ¿Ya resolvieron este ejercicio en la plataforma? Yes. Yes. Ok, here we go.
So in section three, what your neighborhood like? Okay, here is the map. So the first question, is there a near here? And here is the direction, it says yes. There is one, it's on the corner of Ellen Street and Maple Avenue. What is there on the corner of Elm Street and Maple Avenue? What is the play? King Plaza Hotel. Hotel. Okay, then we just did. Is there a, around here? Yes, there's one. It's next to Prince Grocery Store. What is the play? Bank. 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 It's the bank. Thank you. Is there a near here? Yes, there is. There's one on Main Street behind Parker's Drugstore. The what department is? store. Okay, the department store. Is there on Pine Avenue? No, there isn't, but there is one on First Avenue and Main Street. First Avenue. It's a station. And First Avenue and Main Street. So it's the gas station. Oh, it is on the auction. Oh, it was the department. Number store. four. Number four. Number four, gas station. Number and four, number five. Station. Grocery stores. Are there on Main Street? No, there aren't. There are some nice stores on Pine Street. Pine Street. Pine Street. I have two grocery stores on that street. So, grocery stores. Number six. Is there near here? Yes, there is. It is between the post office and all day the department store. The gym. Okay, you say in between the post office and all the age department store. Those jeans is the place. Number seven, is there a on Second Avenue? No, there isn't. There is one First Avenue across from the shopping center. What is it? The electronic store. Electronic store. Electronic store. Oh, electronics. Electronics. Let's see what is the electronic store. Yeah, we are almost to finish this. Number eight, is there around here? Yes, there is. There is on the corner of Main Street and First Avenue. What, hey, is, what is on Main Street and First Avenue? Is the telephone. First Avenue and Main Street. Okay, the pay telephone. Or payphone, it says payphone. Number nine, is there a uh, near here? Yes, there's one next to the gas station. What is next to the gas station? Public library. Oh, I'm a public library or shopping center. Oh, no, it's uh, next, next to. Next to, okay. Okay, public library. The public library. So let's choose that option here. And the last one, are there any on First Avenue? No, there aren't. There are some on Maple Street. Let's see, Maple Street. Here is Maple Street. A restaurant. A restaurant. Okay, let's end this. And yes, you were right. You did an excellent job in this exercise. Very good. Le salió a la primera. ¿Cuántos intentos hicieron? Just one. Dos intentos. Last one. Uh, okay, just one. That's great. Very good job. Okay, now in this moment that we are here, let's check the exercise in which Carlos had some troubles. So you say is the reading of the section number two, right, Carlos Vladimir? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yeah. Reading, reading, reading. Is it this one? 
It's the finish. Reading mm. exercise, the world in one neighborhood. Mm. Ah, that is on section number three. That is the reading. Oh, yes, yes. Sorry, teacher. It's section number three. You are talking about this reading. The word in one neighborhood. Yeah? Is this one? Yes, teacher. Uh, on observation, my answer is in expensive stores, big apartments, great markets, nice restaurants, many different cultures, interesting hall buildings, got public transportation is all answer is bad teacher. Um, okay. So let's see. Uh, read the article, then check the thing you can find in Astoria. Astoria is the name of the neighborhood, right? What is this reading about? Do you remember? What is it about? Where is this neighborhood? In which country we can find this neighborhood? Is it in Canada? Is it in Mexico? Is it in the United States? It's in the USA. In the in USA. Yes, Queens, in the New USA. York. Okay, that's great. So we can find people from around the world in this neighborhood. That's why. So what can we find in this neighborhood? So in expensive store, yes or not? Yes. Are there in expensive store? Then you say yes, there are. Are there big apartments? Yes. What about good school? Are there any good school? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, okay, then we don't choose this. Uh, beautiful beaches. Can we find beautiful beaches there? No, teacher. No, teacher. No. Gray market. Are there gray market? Yes, teacher. Yes, there are. Okay. Let's see. Nice restaurant. Yes, are teacher. Are there nice restaurant? Many different cultures. Yes. Are there many different cultures? Interesting old building. Are there? No. Then we don't choose this. God, yes. good, sorry. Good public transportation. Is there a good public transportation? Yes. Yes, there is. So we have these answers, the speaker. All of them are correct. So do you have this answer, Carlos? No, teacher, I have problems. You just have to click on every option and then click on send. A mí también me dio problemas. En el primer, en el primer ejercicio, en la primera unidad, eh, creo que fue el primero. Eh, lo hicimos con usted el ejercicio y puse la respuesta que era la correcta y no me lo aceptaba. Ok, you can do something here. Uh, you can look out. Ok, teacher, you... just now I have correct my answers. Ok, that's great. When this happens, so you can look out of your uh, profile. Pueden salirse de su cuenta y ingresar nuevamente y resolver el ejercicio otra vez. Sometimes it works. Okay, teacher, gracias. Okay, uh, any other question about the platform? No more question. Okay, then let's come back to the presentation and let's see what is next. Here we go, we have already finished this exercise. You did a great job solving this. Now let's see, we're going to go to the breakout rooms and we are going to practice this question. Is there any barbershop in your neighborhood? 
What is a good answer for this question? Is there any barber shop in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. Okay, yes, there is. And you say there is one. Eh, si vamos a su vecindario, ¿cómo encontramos la barbería? The barber shop. ¿Hay algún otro lugar cerca, a la par, enfrente de? In yes, in front of barber shop is a, a shopping center. Okay, so you say yes. Yes, there is. There is one in front of the shopping center. Thank you. Are there any pet store? Are there any pet store in your neighborhood? Yes, there is. There are. Yes, there are. Okay. Is there any church? Yes, there are. Yes, there, there is. Are. Oh, yes, there is. Ah, okay. Yes, there is. Yes. Now, can you tell me to find the church on your neighborhood? You say, yes, there is. There is one. There is one in front of my house. Oh, great. Thank you. Are there any restaurants in your neighborhood? No, there are. No, there aren't any. Is there any coffee shop? Is there any coffee shop in your neighborhood? No, there isn't any coffee shop in my neighborhood. Thank you so much. Are there any drugstore? Yes, there are. Okay. So we are going. Yes, there Any or one teacher. Okay. In este caso, como es plural, are there any drugstore? Sería, yes, there are some. Yes, there are some drugstore on my neighborhood. Yes, there are some. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you for your question. Okay, let's go with the breakout room. So, can you please ask this question to your classmates? Puede preguntarle eh, to a sus compañeros, please. Say notes or take a screenshot. Let me know if you're ready, please. Also, you can say, what is there in your neighborhood? You think there is and there are. Let's see, for example, you say there are two barber shops. There is one pet store. There are six churches in my neighborhood. So you can share with your classmate what is there in your neighborhood. Are you ready to practice? Yes, yes. Okay, cool. Let's yes. break and phone. So you are going to share that with your classmate. Que hay en su vecindario. Y usted puede preguntarle. Is there a, what? a hair salon? Is there a hair salon? Are there supermarkets in your neighborhood? Is there a coffee shop? So you can ask questions too. Here we go. Let's see. Today we are 17. Fine, group. Okay. Okay. So, ya van a recibir la invitación. Practice. Practice your English with your classmates. Here we go.
Hello, Ingrid. Hello, Samuel. Do you have problems to enter with the breakout room? Samuel is back. Ingrid Vanessa, can I help you? Did you receive the invitation to join? Ah, okay, Samuel is back. I understand. Don't worry. You are still working. And Ingrid, do you need any help? There are. Sorry. Yes, there, there are. are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, there are. Uh -huh. It's store. Well, la otra que hizo fue, is there any shores? Hay alguna, hay, no hay, hay alguna iglesia. Uh, yes, there, yes, there are. Eh, eh, era any o are. Is there any shorts? Is there any shorts? Así lo yes. puse. Ah, ah, pues sería yes, there is. Eh, is there any shorts? Eh, no, 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 there isn't. No, there isn't any shorts. Ok. La otra okay. era, eh, are there any restaurants? Uh, yes, there are. Okay. Yes, there are any restaurants. Bueno, okay. sí, sí. Some, some, in this case, Francisco. Bueno, yes, there plural. are, ajá. Yes, there are some restaurants. Okay. Si la respuesta es negativa, es no some there restaurants. are. No, there are any. Any. Uh -huh. Ajá, es que eso está, cuando se pregunta con any, siempre se responde con el son, ¿verdad? Así es, pero son es para afirmativo, solo si dice sí. Y Ajá, any afirmativo. Dice no, negativo. ¿Y cuando solamente es el is there? Oh, so yes, there is. No, there isn't. Ah, ese es así, nada más. Short answer, short answer. Continue practicing. You are doing a great job. Eh, doctor, eh, la, la, otra pregunta, la última pregunta era, Ana, era de... Hello, Carlos Gunimini. Hello, teacher. Uh, did you practice with your classmate? Yes, teacher. Did you finish? Terminaron? Yes. How was your practice? Carlos, how was your practice? Was it good? Was it interesting? Uh, teacher, the practice is uh, interesting. Oh, was, was interesting in past. The practice was interesting. Ah, okay. I was, I was, I was interesting. Okay. It, 
It was interesting. Esa estuvo. It was interesting. Interesting. Okay. So we are going to finish there. We are going to wait for your classmates. They are coming, they are finishing the practice. Teacher. Yes. Eh, Me puede agregar al grupo de WhatsApp. Um, okay. Okay, what is your number? Can you write it on the chat, please? Six four. Okay. I like the music of ice cream. <laughs> okay. Six four. Four five. One two. Six five. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, how was your practice, guys? Did you finish? Hey, Ulise, how are you? How was your practice? Hi, teacher. Okay, uh, teacher. It was okay. Hey, Ulise, uh, okay. I'm fine. And my practice was great because uh, it, it was an uh, interesting experience. Okay, thank you so much, Ulise. So I have a question. Let's see, Jamilet, is there is there a church in your neighborhood? Yes, teacher. There, there are someone's church. Okay, so you say there are some church. There are some. There are some church. Okay, excellent. There are some churches there. Uh, is there a pet store in your neighborhood, Francisco Daniel? Uh, no, there isn't. No, there isn't. Perfect. Herson Adonai, are there any parks on your neighborhood? Uh, yes. Uh, Neighborhood. Yes, there are some in your neighborhood. Perfect. So let's see, Fatima and me. Are there some rest? Are there any restaurants in your neighborhood? No, there are. No, there aren't. Thank you, Evelyn. Is there a gas station near to your neighborhood? Uh, no, there are, there is. Eastern, perfect. Eastern. No, there isn't. Okay. Eastern. Then Jennifer, is, an, is there a mall near to your neighborhood, Jennifer? No, there aren't any mall in my neighborhood. Okay. No, there isn't. No, there isn't any. any. Uh, no, there isn't. Isn't. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. You're welcome, Jennifer. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your help, your participation. Thank you so much. If you don't have any other questions, see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. Please. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.